Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. I hope you enjoy it. In this video, I will show you the game between Vishyanand and John Ludwig Hammer. This game was played in Norway in 2015. Vishyanand had white pieces and he started with c4, English opening. Hammer played e5, g3, knight to f6, bishop to g2, d5, c takes on d5, knight takes on d5, knight to c3. So we have a reversed Sicilian dragon. White has an extra move. Knight to b6, d3, bishop to e7, bishop to e3, hammer castle the kingside, rook to c1, f5, knight to f3, knight to c6, anand castle the kingside too, bishop to e6, white to move. a3 is very popular move in this position, intending b4. Anand played b4, offering a pawn for free. Is it really free? Hema played a6. If knight takes on b4, knight takes on e5. And if bishop takes on b4, then knight to g5, threatening knight takes bishop. After bishop to f7, knight takes bishop, rook takes knight, and now removing the defender of d5. Bishop takes knight, pawn takes, and white is winning the exchange. So we have a6, a3, king to h8, knight to a4, knight takes knight. If bishop to d5, then a knight to c5. So we have knight takes knight, queen takes knight, bishop to d5, bishop to c5, bishop to d6, queen to c2, queen to f6, e4, bishop to e6, pawn takes pawn, bishop takes pawn. So at this stage of the game, black is doing well. Bishop to e3, a5, b5 attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? Have a played the knight to e7. Better was knight to d4. And after bishop takes, e takes on d4. And after a4, c6. Pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn. And white is advised not to capture on c6 because of bishop takes on d3. Okay, so Anand would not capture on c6. He would do something else. Perhaps knight to h4. Okay, let's go back to our game. We have a knight to e7. Bishop to g5, attacking the queen. Queen to f7, queen to c3, threatening. Knight takes on e5, and then later, bishop takes on b7. h6. Bishop takes knight. Queen takes bishop. Knight to h4, attacking the bishop. Black to move. How should black continue? To win the pawn on a3 and attack the rook, or to play bishop to h7. Hema captured the pawn, attacking the rook. Better was bishop to h7. And after bishop takes on b7, rook from a to b8. And after bishop to e4, rook takes on b5. That will be better for black. In the game we have bishop takes on a3, attacking the rook. How would you continue? 
Anand captured on b7, attacking the rook. Bishop takes on c1. How would you continue? Anand played the best move. Knight takes on f5, attacking the queen. Rook takes knight. Bishop takes rook on a8, saving the bishop. Queen takes on a5, attacking the bishop. Bishop to c5, bishop to e4. Who is better? White is better now. Not only that white is a pawn up, but white bishop is better than black bishop because of the pawn structure. The game continued. Rook to f8, king to g2, queen to d6, h4, h5, preventing white from playing h5. Queen to d2, intending queen to g5, queen to f6, queen to e2, attacking the pawn on h5. How to defend the pawn? Is this good? Well, after that, white is still better, perhaps f4 could be played. Hema played g6. This is a very interesting moment of the game. How should white continue? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. What did you find? This is what Anand played. Bishop takes on g6. Can you see why? Queen takes on g6, and now queen takes on e5 check, forking the king and the bishop. King to g8, queen takes bishop on c5, and John Ludwig Hammer resigned. Possible continuation is, so this is not the only line, this is just possible continuation. Queen takes on d3, rook to e1. Queen to d7, rook to e5, rook to f7, check, rook to g7, rook takes pawn on h5, white is three pawns up. I guess we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.